The workers use the thread cutter to form stripes close to the crab leg meat on the surface and automatically roll them into rolls and then fall on the surface coated with a layer of food coloring similar to the color of crab meat and pass them through the rear machine. The film is wrapped together and then passed through a cutting machine to cut it into small pieces. The surimi at this time is similar to the real crab meat of betta fish in terms of appearance and texture, so it is directly called crab stick. Compared with using expensive crab leg meat as raw material, the factory prefers to use fish meat with no fishy smell and better color elasticity. After these frozen surimi processed from cod are shipped back to the factory, they will first be broken up directly through a large extruder. The plant needs to dispose of more than 40,000 tons per year. The worker pours them together into the mixer, grinds the surimi and adds enough starch and protein powder into it, and then adds ice cubes instead of water to keep it below 10 degrees. State. Then continue to add an appropriate amount of cooking wine, crab sauce, and salt for stirring. After 10 minutes, it is sent to the hopper on the other side of the factory with the help of the machine. At this time, the machine that is constantly stirring inside can completely eliminate the possible air bubbles in the surimi. It is then conveyed to an applicator where it is extruded into thin bags of uniform thickness. Some of the thin bags are deliberately painted with a pigment similar to the color of crab meat. They are then passed through a notched gate roll, where they are evenly cut into thin strips, which are then rolled together by a machine. They are then continued on a conveyor belt through a cutting machine to cut them into small pieces of the same length. This is to better crush them through the blender, so that the appearance looks more like silky crab legs. They are packed directly to where they are needed.